What's going on guys? Welcome to another video brought to you by The Simple Engineer. Today we are going to be walking through the steps as simple as possible to convert a, a basic decimal number into IEEE 754 floating point. Um, and in this video specifically, we're going to be looking at the structure for uh, single precision um, numbers which are represented in 32 bits. I may do another video, which is double precision, which is the same thing, but it's represented using 64 bits, so the structure is just a little bit different. Okay, so for uh, without further ado, let's uh, take a look here. We first need to understand that um, the floating point structure follows this uh, bit segregation here. So. When you have all your bits, just a bunch of ones and zeros, you need to realize that the very uh, leftmost bit is always the sign bit. The very first leftmost bit represents whether or not it's a positive or negative number. If it's a one, you need to know that it is negative, and if it's a zero, you need to know that it's positive. Um, now the exponent uh, are the following eight bits, and the mantissa are the following 23 bits, and we will go ahead and talk about that a little bit more. We're gonna first start off with uh, this number here, 147.625. And um, I'm not going to go into detail on how to convert this, but I have made a video previously that kind of demonstrates how to go through that. So, um, but step one anyways, is to get the binary representation of this number. So the binary representation of this number is 100, 100, 11, and that's 147.101. So this is this right here is the binary representation of the above number. Okay, so now that we've done that. Now the next goal is to take this decimal point and we want to move it all the way until it hits this first one. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we moved it over 7 spaces. And we're going to note that number. So we're going to take this and we're going to say 1.001, 1 .001, 0, 0, 1, 1, times 2. Note that it's times 2 because we're in base 2 to the 7th. Okay, And that will yield us this number above. Okay, so now we need to figure out what the exponent is. Well, we have the exponent here, but for uh, IEEE 754, we need to convert it into excess 127 notation. And the way that you do that is you take 127 and you add 7 to it, which is our exponent that we got here, and this equals 134. And from that point, you need to take the, the binary representation of 134. And this has already been done, and it's 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay, so this is going to be our exponent. But now we need to uh, take care of the mantissa. And the way to do that is you look at this number above. Okay, and you drop the one. That's the trick. You drop the one that's in front of it. And once you do that, you're going to get point, and actually you don't even need the point. You're just going to take zero zero one zero zero one 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 zero one. And this is what the mantissa is going to represent. Okay. So you have this number here for the mantissa. And I'm just going to make a note here. This is the mantissa. And this number right here is the exponent. And the sign bit you can get just by looking at it. Is this number negative? No, the number is not negative. So the sign bit is simply 0. OK, so now let's combine this. We know that this follows the 1823 bit structure. So the sign bit is 0, so we'll just put a zero here and the exponent is eight bits and we got this as our exponent and we have one two three four five six seven eight eight bits perfect so we'll say 
one zero 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 one one zero. Okay, now we need to take care of the mantissa, but you need to be careful here because the mantissa we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten bits, but the structure says that we need to allocate twenty-three spaces for this number. And the way to do that, if you have uh, only ten bits, is we'd say, okay, we're going to say zero zero one zero zero one 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 zero one. Okay, we've taken care of this number, but now we need to add an additional 13 zeros to fulfill this 23-bit requirement. So I'll say zero, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Excuse the format, I'm uh, low on space here, but as you can see, uh, we've now converted this number into uh, IEEE 754 floating point. This is the representation. And if you'd like, um, I can put a link in the description. I have a checker here. And like I said, our number initially was 147.25, or 0.625, sorry. And I'll go ahead and do a conversion. And they have, I'll just read these numbers off. We have 0, 01, 0, 0. 00110001001101 and then followed by all those zeros. So we've got the correct uh, conversion here, which is perfect. That's the step. Okay, so now we're going to do something a little bit different and we're going to do this in reverse. So we're going to get a different number to just change it up a little bit and it's actually going to be given to us in, in hex. And that just makes things a little bit more complicated. So we're going to say we have this hex value. And it's going to be 438F and then 0000. OK, so we want to convert this. OK, this is the hex version of an already converted IEEE 754 single precision floating point number. And we want to convert this to just regular decimal. So what we're first going to do is just convert this hex value into a normal binary readable format. So we know 4 in binary is 0, 1, 0, 0. And we know 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. And 8 is just 1, 0, 0, 0. And F is just 1, 1, 1, 1. And then you just have these four zeros. And that would be 16. So 8, 12, and 16. OK. A little squished, but we can make it work. OK, so now. What we need to do is we're essentially doing these steps in reverse. And we need to look at the sign bit. OK, well, what we realize is that this follows the same 1823 bit structure. So this is the sign bit. And 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3, 6, 7, 8. This would be the exponent and then the following bits would represent the mantissa and I'll go ahead and label that so sine exponent mantissa okay and uh, if we if we combine these then you start to see that we have this this pattern and it's a lot easier to read so if we have zero as the sine bit and we have one one two three four one 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 and then zero 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 one two three four Okay, so this is this is what the structure looks like already converted, but this is what we do to break it down. We look at the exponent, okay, and we're going to convert this to decimal. And once you do that, you realize it's 135. And to get the actual number, you're going to subtract 127 this time. And this equals 8. So now you have this this decimal version of the exponent. Okay, now the mantissa 
we're going to do re the reverse of that. In the previous example, when we were converting to 754, we dropped the one, but now we need to add the one back to the mantissa, also known as the hidden digit. So to do that, I would just say 1.0001111, and then I would continue replacing these zeros back in their respective location. Okay, so we have 2 to the 8th here. We know that it is a positive number, and we need to denormalize the mantissa. And to do that, we need to move this decimal over 8 spaces. So to highlight this, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and this after you do that, ends up looking like one zero 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 one 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 zero, and then it's just a bunch of these trailing zeros. So at this point, you have the binary decimal conversion, and all you need to do is convert that number into decimal. And because I have my trusty calculator here, I can type in. So we got. One, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, zero, and this equals 286, which is the correct decimal conversion. And if I wanted to double check that, I can type in the hexamal, hexadecimal representation in the calculator. And we initially said that we had 438F1234, and I'd convert that and you see that we get 286 as the decimal representation. All right guys, well that was a basic walkthrough for the forward conversion from decimal to IEEE 754 floating point single precision as well as the reverse method back to decimal. If you have any questions or need to uh, need any more resources, um, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to help you.